on pathophysiology and what I did to study it. Um, I don't really have anything specific because I'm not really studying it anymore. This is the pathophysiology book that we used for my class. Um, it was really good. It, it had a lot of stuff that your physiology and your anatomy books um, already have. And um, it just went into detail on the disease process within physiology. Anatomy is in there because, you know, we're that's the building blocks. But it really talked more about physiology and you needed to know where things were. Um, we would get like little um, study guides and most of the time they had about 26 questions on them and so then I would take the questions and then go through the chapter and then I would figure out um, you know different things about them and then I would at first I started out with um, writing it out and that took oops, that took a long time that took a long time so then I started I started typing them out and that was a lot faster and it saved me a lot of time. So if you guys are going to take notes or if you're making your study guides, I would recommend typing. For whatever reason, it just, it just goes faster or at least it goes faster for me. Um, the way I divided myself up for um, school, usually I use a planner and I would put my assignments on here. And I would put when they were due. And then I use a notebook for a daily planner instead of using my planner as a daily planner. I would like schedule everything far out inside my planner. And then I would just use a regular notebook. And I would put the things that I needed to do for the day. And I would put little boxes on them. And then I would check them. And it just seemed to keep me ahead. And I would do that also for things that were coming up in a week. Like if I wanted to do, um, add a paper, and if I wanted to do, like, a section of the paper, I would put, like, that section needed to be done, you know, by today or by the third or by the fourth. And so, and then I just did that for every week, and I would just check them off until everything was done. And I also, if you really look through here, I also left notes for like things for my kids. Um, if it was during the week that I needed to get done. So Serena, my daughter's dentist, called me and um, changed, the, changed the time for her dentist appointment. So I wrote it on the side because it was in that week of things I needed to do. And so I know usually everybody just uses their planner, but this seemed to work out really good for me this semester, and I think I'm going to start using um, this as what I do for um, nursing school. It just seemed to be made me more active in my weekly um, routine with um, with studying. So I would take the stuff outside. I would take my syllabus. I would write the stuff into my calendar, and then after I write it with my calendar, I would take my notebook. And then I would write the things that I needed to do daily within each class. And then I wrote a little box. I would check them if they were done. I would have another box, like if something just needed to be added, like I took it to the um, ARC, which is a place that helps us write papers and stuff like that. I would take it over there to um, have them help me with that. But pathophysiology wasn't a bad class. Um, it was very interesting. It talked mostly about the disease process within physiology. So it was really cool. It felt like a real, I felt like a real nursing student. Um, everything was just like, you know, disease process. How does this manifest and how does this happen and things like that. So if anybody has like a specific question into path pathophysiology, um, let me know. We pretty much, we did the whole book. We did about um, five chapters a week. So... Um, there was a lot of information. This is a big book. This is all the information we covered. And um, I kept I kept everything because I, I tutor at my school. So um, I kept all the notes and um, all the homework and all the papers that we did on um, whole pathophysiology um, to help me do, um, to help me if I needed to tutor um, anybody. But um, as far as being successful in pathophysiology, I would suggest 
um, sticking close to how your professor is. If, if your professor goes off of PowerPoints, um, learn the PowerPoints, fill in the PowerPoints, fill in the information you need to know. Um, if your parent, if your teacher or your professor would like you to know um, the whole chapter, then read the chapter. Um, this class is just, it reminds me of physiology and the way it works. It's not memorization, it's understanding why things happen. So um, if you like physiology, you're probably going to love pathophysiology and it does make you feel more like you're getting into the nursing aspect of uh, medical care, not just learning where this bone is or how the heart works. You, you'll learn about, you know, um, heart, you know, angina and everything else. So hope this was informative and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye.